Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. As usual I have come up with a brand new tutorial on colorful product promo video. I take the inspiration from Envato Elements. And I thought I should share this with you guys. This is very cool looking product promo animation, and it will be fun to create that. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. So before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. And make sure to hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Alright, let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. Let's bring a transparent image for any product. And adjust the scale and position according to your need. By the way, I got this image from Freebook. Now open scale and rotation property for this image. On one second, add keyframes on both. Then come back to first frame, and change the rotation value to a negative value. And make the scale value 0. Now select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve something like this. Before that, make sure you are in edit speed graph. Let's add a solid layer for background. Try to use the color, that matches with your product color. You can add drop shadow effect on the image to give it a depth. This looks good to me. Now create a new composition for our background text. Type a text you like. Now press Ctrl plus K to open composition settings. Then change the width value to 980. Now scale up the text like this. Just make sure it is larger than your composition. Let's add a solid layer for background. Place it under the text layer. Change the text color to this color. And to change the background color, let's add fill effect. Then change its color to white. Now first place this text like this, and add a keyframe on position. Then go forward to timeline, and change its position something like this. Place this keyframe at the end. So the animation continues to the end. Let's reduce the, the alphabet spacing. Now go back to main composition. And bring the BG text comp here. Place is something like this. Nice. Alright, let's create another composition for our second text. Type a text you like. As I said, I got inspiration from Envato Elements. Now go back to main composition, and place the text composition here. You can add fill effect to change the text color anytime. If you click on this star icon box, the composition area will be limited to the object area. Press P to bring position property. Also align it to the center. Now add a keyframe on one second, then come back to first frame, and change its position something like this. Select the keyframes, and easy ease them. Also change the graph something like this. Press Shift plus D to bring opacity property. Then add a simple opacity keyframes on it.
just like this, so it does not look flat. Nice. Let's offset the image and background text composition by 10 frames. So the text animation comes first, then the product and background text. Lock these layers for now. Let's type another text. You can any text you want. Change the color you like. Adjust the scale and position. Now create a rectangle like this. And place it under the text. Change the color of the text according to the shape. Adjust the text and shape if needed. Select the shape and press S to open scale property. On 20 frames, and a keyframe on scale. Then come back to first frame, and change its value to 0. Easy ease the both keyframes, and change the curve something like this. For the text, click on this animate button, and add tracking. Also add opacity, and position. First change the position something like this. And decrease the tracking value like this. Also turn off the opacity. Then open range selector 1, and add a keyframe on start. Then go forward to 1 second, and change its value to 100. Now open advance option, and change the both ease value to 100%. and change based onto words. After that, animation should look like this. Now place this both layers after 20 frames. Perfect. Now we need to add price tag animation. This is very simple. First create a separate composition for that. Give it a name you like. Take the ellipse tool and draw a perfect circle by holding shift key. Align it to the center. Type a text for price. Place it to the center also. Select the shape layer, and press S to open scale. Before that, make a duplicate of this shape layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D. Then go to 20 frames, and add a keyframe on scale. Then come back to first frame, and change its value to zero. Now place the text layer under this shape layer. And change the track mat to alpha mat. For the text, select the layer and press P to bring position property. On 20 frames, add a keyframe on position, then come back to first frame, and drag it to the outside like this. Offset these keyframes by few frames. Select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. And change the graph something like this. Do the same for these keyframes also. Alright, now go back to the main composition. And bring the price tag composition on the timeline. Adjust the scale and position according to your design. Also offset the composition by a few 20 frames. Lock these layers also. Let's create some graphics elements for the background. First draw a circle like this. Click on this add button, and add repeater. Open repeater 1. The change the x axis position value like this. Then increase the copies value a little bit. 
Now click on this add button, and add another repeater. For this one, we just need to change the Y axis value for the position, just like this. Then increase the copies value a little bit. Now select the layer, and align it to the center. Press P to open position, then ALT plus click on this stopwatch icon, and type this expression. It seems too fast. To fix this, go to Effects and Presets, and search for Posterize Time. Apply it on the layer, and change frame rate to 4. Place it after 1 seconds. Also place it below the product image and text. Hit the space bar to ramp review it. Perfect. Similarly, you can add more graphics elements using the same technique. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next week, till then have fun, and stay safe.